Huawei, proud sponsor of TechBusters. Jason Norwood Young is a former journalist who has become a data journalist. He's part of a very interesting organization in South Africa called Code for SA that is doing some remarkable things with the data, the data as we'd say in South Africa, and using it in a very clever way to report on it. it it's kind of like interrogating a, a, a couple of sources, except that just in this case, the source is data. How, yeah. how does data journalism differ from journalism as we know it? Yes, so, so uh, we definitely see the data journalism part as still being journalism. We call it data journalism, not data journalism. Uh, so the important thing to remember is that you still have to tell a story and that data is a source just like a, a real source uh, with all the kind of quirks that come with a, a source. So if somebody tells you a story as a journalist, for instance, you have to question why is this person telling me a story? It's not, a, not usually out of the goodness of their heart, it's actually, actually because they've... Uh, An axe uh, to grind. Yes. Def Would you believe yeah. it? <laughs> So you know, even with data, even even with numbers, you got to say why? Who put these numbers together? Um, how how were they put together? And what uh, what agenda do they have? And uh, from there, we've uh, have a ho whole set of tools that are maybe quite specific to to data journalism. But apart from that, you still want to tell a story. You still want to engage people. So even after we have the data and and a whole lot of numbers, uh, to then follow that up. Uh, create, a, uh, create a story about people and not a story about journalism, uh, sorry, not a story about data. It's really great because some of the things that you can do is take what seems like dense numbers and display them visually in a way that people can, can quite quickly see what the trends are, what the impacts are. Yeah, a lot of people think that data journalism is a visualization, is creating a graph or a chart, but a good data journalism story doesn't necessarily have to have any graphics in it at all. It could be completely text-based or a, a traditional TV or radio news story. Um, I think the thing that for me that defines a data uh, journalism story was uh, is, is that was data the original source? Was it kicked off by a data item? After that, it could uh, go into much more traditional news where you interview people, get their opinions, how does it affect you, that kind of thing. I mean, so what are some of the great examples of, of what uh, globally, I suppose, people have been able to do with data journalism? I know the city of New York, for instance, releases all of its information. I mean, that's a form of open government. Mm -hmm. But with that data, people are able to come up with clever apps to catch um, tubes and to catch, uh, uh, sorry, the underground, they call it in New York, or buses. Uh, when I spoke to one of the women in, uh, at one of the New York organizations, she said, we live here too. We want it to be more efficient. Some good examples, and, and what do you think we could do in South Africa with access to, to all of this open data? Yeah, so I mean, we are guaranteed in our constitution to have access to all government data freely. I think it's section 32 of our constitution. Um, uh, and there has been uh, quite a lot of work. We, we motivate quite a lot uh, uh, with government to um, promote uh, open access to information. And the city of Cape Town has just opened its data portal, the first, uh, the first in the country. Um, and, but some of the stuff you can do with that, so once we've got this data, how do you turn it into something useful? On the one hand, you've got you know, kind of story stuff, you know, um, for instance, you can find anomalies such as the poorest areas and that kind of thing as a journalist. But there's also kind of larger uh, projects you can do such as uh, you know, uh, travel stuff in New York. One of the projects we're working on um, looks at uh, how money is being spent in Cape Town. You know, the, the, um, okay. the DA loves to say that they, they spend most of their money in the poor areas. Is that true? You know, we can now verify that. Uh, use data and we, we're using um, maps to show that visually and, and the idea is really to create more engagement um, by, with the community in, in, their, in the budgets, in the city budgets. At the moment, not many people can understand the city budget, but if you show it to them on a map and you say these are the projects that the city proposes to do in your area, maybe we can get them to, to have more of an input in their own uh, destinies. Mm -hmm. Well, making uh, uh, government information sexy, that's what they're doing over there at Code 4 SA. Thank you, Jason Norwood Young, for uh, an interesting insight into data journalism. <laughs> Thanks, Toby.